welcome to this cathedral church. We have gathered to welcome Bishop Paul to this diocese and to this county. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have called us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, to continue his work of reconciliation and reveal you to the world. As we prepare to receive Paul, called to be 12th Bishop of Sutherland, Nottingham, we remember with thanksgiving those who have served before him as bishops, priests, and people of this diocese. Inspire your whole church, we pray, to witness to the perfect unity of your love, one God, now and forever. Amen. We have heard the mandate let us go to welcome Paul, our bishop, into this cathedral church. Let the doors be opened. (coughs) 
Right Reverend Father in God, we welcome you to your diocese and to your cathedral church. I thank you for your welcome. May the peace of God our Father be upon this house and all gathered here today. I ask you to pray for me that I may be a faithful pastor, teacher and servant to this diocese. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you taught your disciples to learn the lesson of greatness from those who take the lowest place. As children often lead us by the hand to the heart of what really matters, bless your servant Paul, who comes amongst us to listen and to learn before he dares to preach. Be present to him through the powerful prayers of children who through their boldness and belief encourage us to trust. Let them be for him sure signs of your kingdom and your spirit, ringing him with love and welcome. Amen. Amen.
do so affirm, and accordingly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds, and to which the historic formularies of the Church of England bear witness, and in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service authorised or allowed by Catholic. By virtue of the mandate of the Most Reverend and Right Honourable John Tucker Mugabe Sentinel, by Divine Providence, Lord Archbishop of York, I, Nigel John Coates, Acting Dean of Subble, induct, install and enthrone you, poor Gavin Williams, into possession of the Bishopric of Southern and Nottingham, with its rights and dignitaries and all its opportunities of service. And I place you in the Episcopal seat of this cathedral and parish church of the Blessed Virgin Mary at Southern, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, the Holy Trinity, look upon your servant Paul, rest, renew and settle him. Though wrapped in the responsibilities of his office as bishop, allow him the freedom of the Spirit to rejoice in the living Word of God and to know deep within his soul the presence of the Lord now and beyond his own history to the close of the age. Amen.
Well, first and uh, most importantly, thank you a thousand times for your very generous welcome to this cathedral church in Southall. To the diocese, uh, to the county of Nottingham, not forgetting a little part of South Yorkshire as well. Thank you also for your Sorry. prayers uh, for me, for Sarah and for the boys these past weeks Sorry. as we've eagerly anticipated coming to live and serve alongside you in the thrilling mission of God. You perhaps won't be uh, at all surprised to hear that since the announcement of my appointment, we've received quite a few cards containing references to Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm not sure I quite fit the bill, uh, although riding through Sherwood Forest is quite appealing, I have to say. But I love the prospect of sharing with you in the real life adventures of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, where good really does triumph over evil, and where the poor are raised up, and hope springs eternal in the human heart. And it's my prayer that we will be joyfully united in this adventure of faith to the glory of God. And that's why I am uh, delighted that we have with us today our partners in the gospel from all parts of the church, and especially uh, today to welcome Patrick McKinney, the new bishop-elect of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Nottingham. What a blessing it is to begin our ministries together within a week of each other. I don't believe that, yes, but welcome. I, you know, I don't believe that's just a coincidence. I really don't. God is calling his church closer together to serve his good purposes in the world. Archbishop Justin said just a few weeks ago in an interview with Cardinal Vincent...